Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to create PDFs for your form's data. It can be used for creating invoices, work orders, reports, checklists and much more. Let's take an example. Over here, I've created an incident reporting form and for every incident reported, there should be a PDF created for it. To do this, we go to Design App. After you create the app interface, under Step 1, of design app, go to step 2 for configuration. Then click on print settings and a right hand panel will appear. Click on add print template and you can give a name to your template over here. For example, incident reports and to configure the PDF, click on the button over here. You can now configure your PDF. You can enable headers or footers and in the editor box, you can create the template. You can type in some text. You can also insert images, hyperlinks or even tables, format your table and format your text. So let me create a template for the incident reporting app. Based on the fields in the form, I will give relevant headers over here. I have given the relevant headers. If I want the details to be entered in a box under type of incident and incident details, I can use the table option. Now, you can also pull information from submissions automatically here instead of manually typing them in. You can do this by calling the variables of those fields by typing in at the rate along with the field name. So for example, for the incident ID field, I will click incident ID after typing in at the rate and I will pull the variable. If you need to know the variables or check if it's right, you can go back to the app and you can get the variable names on top of every field in brackets. So for the rest of the fields, I will give the variables for the PDF. Now for your PDFs, you can also insert images either from your system or get it from your submissions automatically. To pull it from your submissions, click on the button over here to insert images from submissions. You will get a pop-up window under select field name to insert. You will get a list of fields available which captures images. So since I want to capture the signature as an image, I will select the signature field. Since this is not a copyable section, I will leave this second option blank. Copyable sections means if you need to have the same fields filled in multiple times, you can create copies of your sections in your forms. You will see how to create PDFs for copyable sections too in the latter part of this video. Padding and width is for adjusting the size of the image. Click on save. You can see the signature variable has appeared over here. You can also generate QR codes for the fields in your forms. So let's say for example, I want the incident ID to be generated as a QR code. So I will just remove this variable and to insert QR code, I'll click on the button over here that looks like a QR code. You'll get another pop-up window under select field name to insert. Select the field that should generate the QR code. Since it is incident ID, I will select this. Click on save and the variable appears over here. My template is now ready, so I'll click on save. You can add multiple PDFs for your forms by clicking on add print template again and then configuring it by clicking on this button. Now let's view the PDF. I'll go to app home and I'll make a quick submission. I filled in all the details. Now I click on submit. To view your submissions, click on the submissions tab. This is the submission that I just submitted. So I'll click on this and a right hand panel will appear, capturing all the details. To view a submission PDF, click on the option over here and a print preview will appear. Here you can see the QR code has been generated for the incident ID field. The submissions have been automatically captured and the signature has been embedded as an image. You can save this as a PDF to your system. So in this way you can generate PDFs for your forms for every submission. Now if you would like to send your PDFs automatically via email, you can automate this process. So we'll go to the design app and go to step 3 which is workflows. Click on add step and then select the email node. You can configure the email node on the right hand panel. Give the email addresses for which the PDFs need to be sent across to. If it is multiple email addresses, they can be separated by comma. Then give the subject and the body, like a regular email. Now below the body, you will see the option that says include configured PDF. Once you enable this option, select the configured PDF from your form. If you have multiple PDFs configured, 
you will be able to select only a single PDF. The selected PDF will be sent across as an attachment in your email. Then click on save. If you want to send multiple PDFs that are configured in your form, you can add multiple email nodes by clicking on the start button. Now for every submission, the workflow will automatically get triggered and it'll send me an email notification along with the PDF attached. So let me make another submission. I'll go to App Home, give in some details and click on Submit. For the new data captured, under the Submissions tab, I click on the New Submission, click on the PDF option. You can see it has dynamically captured the details. Now let's check for the email. You can see I have received the email notification with the subject and the body and the PDF has come as an attachment. You will get the email notification under no reply at clapier.com. If you wish to change this, you can change it in your SMTP settings in your Clapier workplace. There is a separate video on that, so do check it out. Now that we have seen how to create and also send PDFs via email, let's see how to create one for copyable sections. I'll go to design app and turn this section into a copyable section. By clicking on the section and on the right hand panel, I'll click on the advanced option and then enable the option allow section to be copied during submission. You can give the number of copies that can be made for the section. So for example, I want the maximum number of copies to be 5. To get the next section, a link will be added in your app home with the text that says add another section. You can change this if you like. Click on save. In app home, you will get the link at the bottom that says add another report as I've configured it. Click on the link and this section has now been copied at the bottom. Since I've given maximum number of copies that can be made is five, I can have five sections by clicking on add another report. Now let's configure a PDF for this. I'll go back to design app, click on step two for configuration, print settings, and on the right hand panel, I'll click on this button. I will modify the template a bit. I have now modified the template and made it into a tabular column. Now just like before, I will add the variable names for every field. For example, for type of incident, if I type in at the rate type of incident, you can see there are five of them. Since we turned it into a copyable section, you will have to add all of them. Like so. Similarly, I will do it for the other fields as well. Now I have filled in all the necessary fields which will pull the data from the copyable section. Now, as you remember, I had turned incident ID into a QR code. So for this, I'll click on the option here, select the incident ID field and under insert section index, I will give in the index number for every section copied. So since I have five copyable sections, I will list them out from one to five. So you can keep giving the index numbers from one to five to generate the variables. However, since I use the unique numbering block for the incident ID, only one code will be generated for copyable sections. So I can remove this row. Similarly, I can do this for the signature field. So I'll click on insert images from submissions, select the signature field and insert the section index. I will just give one for now. Now for example, if only one section has been filled in and submitted and no other copies have been made in that same submission and you would not like any blank rows to be seen since only one copied section details will be filled in and the rest would be blank. For this select the table then click on the table option and click on table properties. Under the general option click on class and then select delete empty rows. Click on save. Now you can save your template. Let's see how this works. I'll go to App Home and make a submission. I have only filled in two sections in this form and I'll click on Submit and view this under the Submissions tab. Click on the Submission and on the right hand panel of this submission, you can see all the details captured as well as the copied section. Now let's view the PDF. As you can see, the incident ID has a QR code, type of incident and incident details have only two rows. I had given in all five copied section variables, but since I had only filled in two sections, the rest of the rows have disappeared. You can also view configured PDFs in your mobile apps. To use mobile apps, all you have to do is download the Clapier app either on Play Store or App Store. And the moment you create your app, it'll be ready to use on the mobile app instantly. So let's have a look. Over here you can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app on it. 
I will open the Incidents app. You can see that the app is ready to use over here. Let's view the configured PDF. So I'll click on the Submissions button. Click on any of the submission. And over here, you will have a printer symbol where you can view configured PDF for the submission. So in this way, you can configure PDFs for your forms and also automatically receive it via email. If you have any queries on how to generate PDFs or use the workflows to automate the process or any other feature in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.